Drinking Texas here again. We are at the Holiday Inn Express in San Antonio. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're down here. Uh, we had a couple of gigs. Uh, one, uh, 400 hats for a pretty large company. Uh, that was pretty cool. And uh, we met uh, Donna uh, Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, that was yeah, cool. That she was a great name. Yep, she did. And uh, then tonight we ran Armadillas uh, down at Kennedy Ranch. Martina McBride was the star that was performing there. And she performed right when we were ready to start so we fortunately had to sit down for a minute yeah we did so anyway we're done with all that back to our room time to do a another drink in texas show so what do we got sparky we got a rye a i've rye. been waiting for a rye uh, i'm sure there's others out there but this should be interesting because this is the, the carrollton based jem uh, has made really, really interesting stuff, Red River Distillery. But now they apparently have moved some of their pot stills to Pilot Point, Texas, right up there by the lake north of Denton. So um, I'm anxious to try this. I uh, have experimented with several ryes, and I keep coming back to the cheapest rye possible old overholt yep but this is a young they're, they're saying this is a young american rye so i don't know what taste differences there'll be but i'm ready to try a rye whiskey you know pilot point uh is where uh that vodka came from that was just touted to be the other day from the uh total wine and it's um, got to be, it's got to be out of the Red River. Place. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. It's, it's they've called they've Tower Vodka. It was really good. Corporate headquarters are probably in Carrollton, and they move their pot stills out to Pilot Point. Hmm. Well, I see that this is a uh, Go Texan product, which, uh, of course, gives it extra points from our perspective. And it uh, claims that every bottle contributes to wildlife. And not just wildlife, but Texas wildlife. And you know, that's something that's kind of happening in these distilleries and in these wineries and in these beers, is they're doing a little something to bring something back to Texas. I think it's very cool. Congratulations, Red River. Now, let's see what your rye whiskey tastes like. Picture of the uh, white-tailed deer. Yeah, and they, oh, and they've had boars, and right. they've had some really, really cool ones. Okay, what are we doing here first? I think I will just have a, a snort. A snort neat. Snort. That's a good snort. I like that. It's been a long day, snort. boys and girls. Racing armadillos is a grueling experience. It is so humid here. <laughs> it is just insane. Uh, we thought we were in Houston. That's why Glenn sort of paused about guessing where we were. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's pretty good. good. I think that's pretty nice. That's really good. 40% um, alcohol by volume. Uh, 80 proof, obviously. So they go hand in hand. I like that, it. But that is really good. You remember how much it cost, Sparky? Nope. I left my... Um, I left my receipt at Specs. Uh, was it? I'm pretty sure it was under thirty bucks though for um, a fifth, a seven hundred fifty milliliter bottle. Pretty sure it was under thirty. Right? Uh, yeah, it's pretty rare that I'm going to jump much more than that. Yeah. They had a bottle of rye there. It was this big mm -hmm. for forty four bucks. That's ridiculous. And I'm like. Even if we do a show on this, we'll have to buy two bottles. <laughs> <laughs> was it a Texas one? Yeah, it was. It, it was. was. Mm. And they were really bragging about it, too. They oh, this is really good. Mm. It's like, yeah, well, so mm. is caviar, if you like that. Well, I really like that. Uh, you know, we've made our fair share of uh, one of those Manhattans. Yeah. With the rye and, uh, and the sweet vermouth and... Uh, and stuff. I'm not so sure I'd want to monkey that up. You want some of this? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like Godzilla at the bar. You call this a Manhattan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, terrible. Yeah, <laughs> All right, now. It's, it's a great visual, Joe. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay well, this is pretty good for me. All right, a little more of that. So, what, just on the rocks then? Yeah, I'm try the rocks. I've got a little, I've got a little club soda down there. Rye and soda. More better. 
more better. I like it a little cooler. Yeah. It's a little smoother. I, I'm not sure I like it a lot better. No, no, but it I just like it. Good meat. And maybe I just like it cooler because, oh yeah, did I say how humid it was down here? Yeah, Houston like. Good. All right. Okay, I'm going in on a little bit of soda. You want me yeah, to open yeah. this real fast? No. Okay. I don't. It's not like I have it a few times. Feeling like I could though. I'm getting, I'm getting emboldened. Oh, I'm getting emboldened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, if we put this to music, it would be very nice. By the way, <clears throat> hopefully Glenn will raise the camera level a little bit, show you the quality of art here, and uh, then perhaps when we're through. This is the weirdest room we've ever had at a Holiday Inn, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, absolutely. We paid a little bit of extra so that we would have the more executive, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna get a couch, a little side sitting room with an extra TV or something. No, <clears throat> I'd say we have a 30 by 20 space. We could run armadillos right in this room. Absolutely. Without any question. Well, when I walked in here, I said, <clears throat> I feel like I either need to play racquetball or bowl a couple of Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It just, uh, this is the weirdest room Holiday Inn's ever put us in. <laughs> and I'm on Platinum Elite. Uh, uh, I'll let you pour your own club. The, um, and the TV is so far away from the bed that... A 32 inch or looks. I thought I like needed binoculars to watch TV. And then we had, if we're fortunate enough to uh, have the afternoon off and uh, could watch the Rangers play, the Angels, this afternoon, day game. And so after we got tired of laying in the bed there, you know, in our beds, we just kind of hooked up our chairs and got closer. We felt like the TV became a 50 inch TV. Yeah, it, was it was just amazing. amazing. It was. Rangers win. Rangers win. Rangers win. Yep. No, no, Shut that's down good. trout. But it was a high scoring game. It was 15 to 9. <laughs> but, you know, grandly entertaining since, oh yeah, Rangers, we would. Win. Rangers win. Yep. Well, this is a, this is a nice drink too. It's mm -hmm. completely different. Absolutely. It completely different. changes the whole thing, just a little splash of soda. Mm -hmm. But Rob Whiskey, I'm, I'm sorry I failed to pick up the ingredients for Manhattan mm -hmm. because that might have been a very interesting test. But this is so good, I'm not saying I would sit down and have a straight snort of Old Overhope, but I'm not saying I have it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I'm just, All right. But yeah, I'd do this again. All right, so highly recommended the Red River Rye Whiskey, Young American Rye. Um, Where did we put that bottle? I don't know, you oh, just did something with it. And it was uh, less than $30. We bought it at the Specs in shirts. Uh, or was that Selma? It was uh, Selma, it was right across the okay. Shirt so, Selma line. All right, yeah, yeah. So in the northern outskirts of San Antonio. Good stuff. We recommend it. We like ought it. to try some rye whiskey okay. from Pilot Point, Texas. Yep. All right, good stuff. We'll see you guys down the road. Right now we've got some drinks to finish. Bye.